I love the science around when we as humans first get our microbiome. So can yeah. you shed some light for people? <clears throat> so, where does it begin? Do we get it in utero? Does it, where, where does it yeah. happen? I mean, so there is, a, there is some, you know, discord around is your, are you a, when you are baby in your mother's uh, things in the womb, is this environment sterile? There are some research that shows that actually placenta has microbiome <clears throat> and amionic, amionic fluid that's inside the womb actually has microbiome. But and there's some people say, well, that's really not there. It's all contamination that happens because we are analyzing it. But we all agree the exposure, the biggest exposure to the microbiome you get actually comes when the baby goes through the birth canal. And that's the first exposure to this external microbes that we get. And whether it's the first exposure or at least the largest exposure to the microbiome when the baby is going through the birth canal. And that's the reason the babies that are born to C-section, they completely miss out on that microbial exposure that comes from the birth canal. Instead, they are now exposed to the skin microbiome. And many of the children tend to have high allergies, high eczema, and many of the diseases because they were not actually gone through the normal birthing, birthing process.